I'm sure you've heard of parvovirus for dogs, but did you know that there's a human form? Parvovirus. Parvovirus. It's kind of hard to say. B19. So parvovirus B19 is the human form. It's usually mild. If people get it, they don't even know that they have it. Um, and children, when they have it, they usually get what's called slap cheek rash where their face looks like they've kind of been slapped. It's like red on their cheeks. And more common in adults is joint pain or swelling. How did I find out about this, you ask? A wise doctor, thank God. So one week I got sick and I had sore throat, mild blue-like symptoms for about a week. Tested for COVID the entire week just to make sure that was negative. Uh, started getting better. And then about eight days after I had gotten sick initially, got sick again and found out it was COVID. Come to find out what I was sick with originally, though, was the parvovirus. So a couple weeks after both of those, I started noticing pretty bad pain in my wrist. And I do a lot of Olympic lifting and CrossFit. So I mean, some muscle pain is not abnormal for me, but this was this was pretty extreme. I could not do the lifts that I normally do. And I was starting to have pain in other joints. And then one day while I was camping, I woke up in the morning having done nothing to my ankle. And this is what it looked like. So yeah, I took my kids camping. I woke up in the morning, my ankle felt a little bit off on my left side. And throughout the day, that's what it looked like. I had done nothing to it. Fast forward another week or two, um, continuing to have joint pain in my wrists, joint pain in my in my ankles, in my shoulders, in my neck. So I decided to go to the doctor because the swelling wasn't going completely down to my ankle and my wrist was and it's still um, hurting. So I go to her and she asked if I had been exposed to any viruses. And I said, yeah, about four weeks ago, five weeks ago at that point, I started getting sick for like a week and then I ended up getting COVID. Um, and she asked if I'd been exposed to parvovirus. And I was like, what? And then she explained that it's, you know, a virus that the human form that they can get, you can get exposed to and causes joint pain in adults or can that can last weeks, two months. Um, and she's like, let's just go ahead and test for it. And thank God, because what a smart doctor and who would have thought to check for that because it's usually mild. But yeah, so I was positive for having been exposed to it recently. I also had COVID, which can result in long lasting joint pain. Now we're going on a couple months past that, that my, my joints are still considerably painful, like arthritic pain, very frustrating. But yeah, now you know, if you have an unknown cause of joint pain, it, it could be that. And it will go away eventually. I hope. The more you know.